I finally get to meet Damiano Zito, CEO of ProGold, leading innovation of metal printing in the world. Finally get a chance to meet him here at Center Hi. Bay Symposium. Thank you. Hi. Just want to ask you a few questions for our audience. The first one is, there's so much stuff happening of additive manufacturing with 3D printing, metal printing. What is really advancing the tech right now? Is it the software? Is it the powder? Is it the, the laser? Like, what is really pushing the forefront? The development are in understanding more and more in the technology, like, like I was telling right. during my speech. Yeah. Uh, the, I was giving that example about piano. Right. So it's a kind of understanding more the technology because we are not really using all the, 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 the power. Not yeah. using full potential. No, absolutely yeah. not. And, absolutely and the piano not. analogy is... Yeah, the, the, the piano is there and then all job you have to do. Because piano is just doing what you ask him to do. Right. And the printer is almost the same. I mean, doesn't mean that we have to add new hardware, new software to get the results. Of course, there are some development in terms of the material, so the powder, um, the, the finer the particle size and the more accurate and precise is the resolution. Right. But I will say that the technology at the moment to have a, 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 a boost in developing will need really uh, people that will start to trust. Right, and people get using the technology more, finding better ways of using yeah. it. In your presentation yesterday, you started look. You, you talked a lot about resolution and fineness of resolution, and I guess that is also solving a lot of the problems of surface surface roughness, uh, the detail, and how fine you can print. And that's just a result of printing of, of printing. experience, printing, printing, and printing. Trials, because and really, uh, like many things, now is the time not to looking for new improvement yeah. in the equipment, but it's really the time to uh, consider that sooner or later, it will be the technology. The first day I saw metal printing, I said, wow. So yeah. this was my zero day yeah. with wow. And I was thinking that metal printing will replace or will, will substitute uh, investment casting. Today, I, I'm, I have a much more uh, wide uh, point of view because it is another tool. Yes. So, it's one more uh, like in the bench, yes. you know, when you are building a jewel yeah. and you have many tools, yeah. you have not to do not consider right. to have metal printing as a tool. That's right. Because maybe there are some companies for some kind of object that they use more. Right. So, the stone sector used a, a tool that the yeah. goldsmith is not using. That's right. So, it should be seen in this way. One question a lot of people are asking at the symposium, it's about cost and cost and cost, and a lot of it is about powder. It's powder the, the biggest chunk of expense right now? That I believe that this is an issue for the segment that cannot afford now metal printing. Mm. For sure, that segment that is taking care if there is an incidence of powder on half euro per gram or one euro per gram is an issue when you sell for three, four euro per gram your jewelry, then it's an issue. But this is not the segment ready for metal printing. Right. So we have first to attack, and we are the high-end segment. I mean, the, the, yeah, early, yeah. yeah, they will be the trend settler. Yeah. So let me use some, if one of the famous uh, jewelry company, jewelry company yeah. in the world, they will embrace metal printing yes. and they will maybe have the resources to even find a proper design for metal printing. Yes. They will make the trend and then they are, the other one will follow. So right. for that segment, the, the difference in cost of powder is sure is more expensive, yeah. but it's not an issue. Thank you for your Thank time. Thank you very much. Thank you.